Well, folks, we're here just outside the Carriman Quarries up on um, Mount Cotton Road West. Beautiful spot. Beautiful spot, but there's something not right here. Something not right at all. Because this quarry is in the Narrenly Ferndale beds. It is a road based quarry. And you can see the Stilter Suffolk quarries down here. Beautiful, hard, metamorphic rocks. But just around the corner here, something that doesn't belong. Let's go and have a look. And don't forget, if you dig in the vibe, like and subscribe. Let's, Let's rock. rock. Well, folks, here we are up about the, half the height of a Elon Musk satellite, and uh, we're just uh, dropping down. You can see Brisbane and the bay there. This is where we are today. This is Mount Cotton, the Mount Cotton area, anyway. And you can see those two big quarries, and there's our little, uh, our little um, roundabout with our cutting. Uh, and that cutting is through a hill, which you probably saw in the previous video. It's got a couple of houses on it. And uh, it's a very interesting part of Brisbane. So let's just have a bit of a look at the uh, structure of this place. I'll pull back to a still for you, it's slightly better resolution. You can see that's a fairly substantial quarry. Um, on the geology wraps, it's marked as alluvium. Eh, I don't think so. That's producing road base and it's hard rock. It's uh, a metamorphic shale or a schist and it's part of the Narren Lee Fernvale group which consists of a bunch of rocks. The narrowly Fernvale group is not a rock. It's a group of rocks that identify together. But that shale's pretty old. Solarian, 500 million years old. Uh, and uh, they're digging into it at a fairly great rate of knots there. But we'll look at some uh, drone footage of that a little later. And you can see there's a layer of rock on top, which is very different. Um, it contains some amazing uh, colours, some reds, and uh, this is a type of soil uh, that uh, is uh, endemic to this area, uh, which is why you see all these orchards growing here. And I'm not sure, because I've read quite a bit on this, but I think it may be decomposed volcanic ash, because some of this stuff, which you will also see as we walk through, it looks very uh, much like bentonite. And uh, bentonite is a clay, but it comes in all shapes and sizes 
Here's the geology of the area overlaid. Now, the purple is the narrow leaf fernvale beds, and it doesn't define any how than that, but what you can see is those black lines. Now, those black lines are faults and dislinearities. Now, the main one, you can see in the bottom uh, left, uh, the bottom right corner of this, Mount Cotton, and there's a fault runs right through Mount Cotton. I'll give you the uh, geology here with the uh, LIDAR on top, and this is very three-dimensional, this area. It does not show up on a satellite photo particularly well, but it's very three-dimensional. And the main thing to look at here is a lot of those discontinuities, they follow the ridges. These are folds in the rock where they, the rock got hard and it hasn't eroded away. And there are a lot of continuous ridge lines here. If you look at that ridge line that the West Mount Cotton Road follows, which you saw with the little uh, Swifty drive in before, um, the Mount Cotton, there is a ridge line along there and there's a track on that ridge that you can actually follow. There's two of them actually. There's one called uh, the Mount Cotton Track. There's another one called the Metamorphic Track, strangely enough. Um, weekend spit mountain bikey. But uh, anyway, so you can see the quarry there, see it all clearly. Um, well, let's have a look at something else that's interesting, which we don't often look at on this channel. So what we have here, folks, is a radionucleotide map of the area. So these are the radioisotopes that are contained in the soil. It's been scanned by an aircraft with a gamma ray spectrometer flying over. So the blue is uranium, the red is potassium, and the green is thorium. Now, there's no green on this map, so I'll give you that up there. But as you can see, that's unusual in Brisbane to see that variation in such a short period. And I would think it's probably related to the fact that there's a lot of potassium in uh, the granitic rocks that made up the shales in the Narron Lee Fernvale beds. And uh, that's a lot of potassium, and that's quite a bit of uranium too. You can see a little bit of thorium sneaking in where the quarry is. Um, watch the uh, Shaler Park video. There's some interesting thorium in that. Commercial time. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Captain T-Rox speaking. Welcome aboard T-Rox Air Flight 007. This is a non-stop service from Mount Coother to Mount Cotton. We're currently cruising at an altitude of about six foot four and expect to be airborne for the entire flight. Please fasten your seatbelts and return your tray tables to the upright position as the flight crew are experiencing a severe caffeine withdrawal. And this airline coffee just ain't cutting it. We need a major course correction and a severe caffeine injection. Luckily, you can help. Just follow the link in the QR code and you can help buy your T-Rox flight crew a coffee. And don't forget, smoking is prohibited for the duration of this flight, except for our lead flight attendant, because as we all know, she's smoking hot. Thank you for choosing T-Rox Air and enjoy your flight. Well, folks, this looks a lot like sandstone, but it isn't because there's no sand in it. This is a very fine siltstone, but you can see it's sedimentary because of the layers. And there's a white clay up there, which I might have to have a look at, and I may have to actually taste some of it because I don't recommend you taste rocks, but bentonite has a particular taste. Let's have a little taste of this one. That's bentonite. How is that getting here? Hmm. We need to have a bigger look. So as you can see, there's a clear fault line here. But with another fault line going up through it, it's fairly heavily faulted. And it's that's a common feature of uh, the Mount Cotton area. It's got fault lines all through it. But look at these striations. They are absolutely fantastic. I would say I've not seen anything like this in Brisbane. Very fine layers. 
with no uh, xenoliths or foreign rocks in them. It's all a very fine silt sand. A little bit further along here, and it changes again. Still that fine silt sandstone though. Let's go up top, see what we can see up the top there, because it changes again up there by the look of it. Let's have a look. Let's give it a smack with a hammer, eh? My AI sound filter doesn't like hammers. Thanks a man. Just look at the colour of the absolutely gorgeous and it's really soft I wouldn't call that a stone in fact I don't think I'd call that sandstone I'd call that a very very immature almost argillite it's wet too because it's been raining that's going to make beautiful soil as it does I mean it cotton's so good You can see the stuff they mine at the quarry slightly harder. This stuff is pretty interesting. Pretty interesting indeed. Something I didn't notice when I was out on the site was that iron and that banded staining cuts through the strata. The strata is actually contiguous through the, the staining. I have never seen that before. It's like it's been painted on, which it has not been. Uh, I'll have to look into that a little more, I think. So you know how I love road cuttings? The windows to the sole, the eyes of the windows to the sole. Well, road cuttings are the windows to the earth. It's really steep country here. They don't call it the escarpment for no reason. That'd be easily 100 meters down into that valley there and it just falls off even further. As you can see here, it is coming down. Mass wasting. All you people that buy houses at the Capera Quarry, remember this. It's all coming down. To quote Mike Holmes. Good thing about this is, I don't have to hit it with a hammer. But I'm going to anyway. Let's have a look up here. This is pretty, this pink stuff. Here I am standing on top of that where I was down there just a few minutes ago. That is amazing. And that's bamboo. <laughs> I love bamboo. I suspect in uh, 20 million years every plant on earth will be bamboo. It's so voracious. Well folks, that's the West Mount Cotton Road cutting. An amazing place. Pretty rocks. There's more than, than I've shown you in this video. You're, uh, yeah, it's a pretty safe place to go to. It's pretty busy the weekend I was there. There were cars everywhere. But, you know, it's not going to be like that every weekend. That was a long weekend and it was a public holiday. So, yeah, my, my bad. Why am I showing you this green bit here? Well, 
just down the road, if you go down towards uh, the uh, Shaler Park end of West Mount Cotton Road, uh, just around the corner a bit, you'll see this. And this, this, these are the headwaters of Tingalpa Creek. It starts right there. That's the source in that paddock right in front of us there. Fairly iconic Brisbane Creek. So there you go. Got a couple of new videos coming up soon. On a couple of more lost mines, a gold mine and a coal mine. Should be fun. And uh, yeah, until then, you know what I'm going to say. Keep, Keep rocking. T-Rocks out. out.